Yo guys, what is up? This is Scummers from Indiotics coming back at you with episode 15, part 2, where we are going to finish off our help command. So, let's dive right into it. So, up here under total pages, we're just going to make this an if statement. So if re.search, which is some regex, just going to search for a pattern. That pattern is going to be any digits uh, in string calc. And it's going to send this code here. That that's that. Simple, easy, peasy, done. Let's just double check it's actually working. Sweet, so we can go help. To sweet, cool. That works perfectly fine. Let's close that, dive back into the code, and we can continue on our little journey. Elif re dot search. And we're going to search for any letters now this does mean we need to have our cogs as only uh, alpha new and not even alpha numeric as only letters so they can only be letters if there's any numbers in there it's gonna fail it's gonna trip the uh, page one and it's gonna lead to errors so you might have to change this for yours might have to change it depending on how you've implemented it but for me this is all I need so let's go right into it now, just to make it easier for us to work with, we're going to go log hogs equals a list comprehensive of all the cogs, but in lowercase. For c in cogs, if cog dot lower in lower cogs. You know, just making sure it's actually a legit cog. They're not asking for something else. What do we want to do? A actually, you know what? Not in. Oh, wait ctx.send what should we send invalid argument boom send that please pick from total pages pages I'm just going to copy and paste this across because there is quite simply no point in me going over and typing it but alternatively simply run help to see one page or type help category to see that category's help command and then we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna return. And so if we get down here, we can guarantee we're actually trying to, you know, run the code. Um, so we're just gonna set the footer. Help embed dot set footer. And then in that footer, we're just gonna set the text equal to the exact same as up here. So we could probably be using this, except it's not quite the same because I'm going to get rid of this and we're going to go cog and this is where the logic the magic comes in so lower cogs dot index so we're trying to find the number so it's going to go cog one of eight you know two of eight three of five however many so we're just going to do lower cogs dot index and then we're going to do cog dot lower and because we want it to be human readable we're going to have a plus one out here of len you know, then low cogs and you'll see this in action in a bit it looks really sick honestly and then we're gonna go help text we're just gonna make this a little string get rid of that for now and then we're just gonna go for command and self dot bot dot get underscore cog and this is a bit of logic so from our cogs because it, our lowercase cogs is just the lowercase name because it's c dot law now we have to go back to our original cogs and use our lower cog index because we haven't actually changed the order and then get the index of cog.lower and then we're just going to walk commands like we did in our last part of the episode. So we, and then we're just going to copy and paste this bit across from here. Boom, bam, simple, done. And then if failing that we're going to go plus equals open the crazy quality brackets here. And we're just going to go. You know what? I don't think we need these. Let's just make it a extra. One, two, three. Command. Dot name. One, two, three. New character, please. Command. Dot description. And because we want to make it look nice, that's the whole point of our help command, right? Two new line characters. And. If we have any aliases on this command, we want to add them. So we're going to add them to our help text with plus equals 
bang. What's this? Ready? Ready? Actually, I'm gonna make that. Loki's. I'm gonna go. LA is. Can I spell? Apparently not. Space on that. Put space on that. Put space on that. Yeah, just something like that. And then we're gonna go bang. We're gonna go bang. We're gonna go bang. And you know what we're gonna do? Dot join. Come on. Dot alaces. Simple stuff. Put a new line character there to keep it nice and toasty warm. And then otherwise, if, if failing that, if we don't have any alaces, I just want to. You know, keep it looking nice and snazzy. So what we can do here, if we can actually get rid of this else, and we can get rid of this, and then we can just add this, so we can ensure that every time we just get that new line character to make it look, you know, oh, that much better. And then we do have to add this to the bot, you know, format it as an embed, and for that we're going to need the prefix. So data, who's await, self, dot bot, dot config, dot underscore, document because it's a internal class get underscore raw and then ctx dot guild dot id and this is just going to return our prefix so if not data or prefix not in data our prefix is just going to be set to self dot bot dot default prefix otherwise you probably guessed it by now. Bang, bang, bang. Look at that. Pretty simple stuff. Let's put it in the help text. Let's use the format. Bang, bang, bang. Wow. That was a bit of foreshadowing. Then we're just going to put a space. And we're going to go prefix. And then we're going to go command.name. We're going to put a snazzy. And then we're going to go command. Oh. Oh, that was not spell. The usage if command dot usage is not none else. Just need to be string, please. And then you know, keep it nice, keep it chill. One, two. Simple. Break out of that for loop. Help embed dot description. Help text. Boom. Simple. Done. That should be the majority of our command done. Let's go test it and then I will explain what's going on, what's happening, and you know, just a bit more about it. So, help command. Easy peasy. And then we can go help config. Wow, look. Oh my god. Look at how sexy that is. Got my little, you know, image. It's got. The format, like, what do we want? We want the prefix and what's that argument? Uh, it's got square brackets, so it's optional. This doesn't take any arguments. This takes a required argument. You know, it's all coming together, and this is called two out of five. So it's just, mm, it's just so nice. Anyway, let's just quickly jump back in here and. Put an extra else in there because just in case we can't match either of the either of these statements up here i just want to handle it because you know it's the right thing to do and i'm just going to go ahead and i'm just going to go and say wait actually did i return on that statement i did indeed ctx.send and we're just going to go and we're just going to go invalid i can oh. Actually, I get the feeling I'm just going to write the same one out here that we had up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that. Scroll down a teeny tiny bit. Return. Boom. Let's go run the bot. That's pretty much it. We can go help. Invalid argument. Please pick from two pages. Or you can do help category. What do I want to pick from two pages? Page two. Honestly, that is so nice. Anyway, that's the help command. That's it finished. Hope you guys enjoyed this little two-part mini-series. And uh, Scalmas from Minidocs, signing out.